Well, just a few weeks ago, the family of a bright young man in the whole town of Spring Hill suffered a terrible loss. 17-year-old Nathan Stiles collapsed while playing a high school football game and died the next day. Nathan's parents want people to know they believe their son left a powerful legacy, one that will shape and change lives. Nathan Stiles' parents are not grieving the way some might expect. It's like God was calling him home. Nathan died after collapsing during a football game just a few weeks after suffering a concussion. Even in grief, his parents have no anger, no blame, and no regrets. If I said if it'd bring him back, I'd blame anyone. Just tell me who to blame. The Stiles don't want anyone to feel guilty. Are you satisfied with the standards that, that are set for head injuries for kids? Would you like to see them changed, given what happened to Nathan? I think you can write rule after rule after rule, and accidents are just going to happen. They made sure Nathan's final moments were shared with dozens of friends who packed the hospital the night of his death. And those kids were so concerned and crushed, and, mm -hmm. and they loved Nathan to pieces. And I told him, Nathan loves you guys. You know that. Connie and Ron Stiles say they are strong because of their deep Christian faith, a faith their son shared. They have no doubt he died for a purpose and that Nathan is now in heaven. We'll be there. You know, we'll be there with him. And there's going to be a lot more people there. The Styles say the impact of Nathan's death has already been felt, turning hundreds of his friends and even strangers to Christianity. It's the start of what they call the Nathan Project. The Nathan Project is going to have a lot of different avenues, but it's basically open the Bible to read it. The Nathan Project may also include organ donation. Nathan made his parents' decision easy when he got his driving license. What is this, Dad? And I said, well, something would happen to you, Nathan. You know, they can use your organs, something to help somebody else. Oh, great. You know, man, I'm not going to need them, and that, that'd be good. That'd be good. And it was really that simple. Nathan's mom and dad are quick to say that having faith does not mean they don't have pain, but they know how they will survive it. Do you worry about what things will be like when things calm down, everyone goes back to their normal lives, and you know, you're going to have to get through? Nathan had a really good quote. As long as you have Jesus in your heart, there's no need to worry. So we won't worry. You know, we'll struggle. We'll have some tough times, but I'm not going to worry. Yeah. Well, Connie and Ron Stiles say people have been reaching out with stories of loss and comfort, and they're grateful to all of those people. And if you'd like to see the entire interview with the Stiles, you can look at our website, NBCActionNews.com. Look under Local News. Now, you can tell everything, every step of the way, what an impact this young man had on his friends he and his family. And all accounts, a wonderful kid. All right, very good story. Thank you. Mm -hmm.